Philippines had acquired 6129 attack helicopters made by Turkish Aerospace Industries and is now ready to deliver for the first batch. In this video, we'll see the T129 attack helicopter latest development and see what capabilities it brings to the troops. The progress was made possible because of the prospering result after the United States government allowed exports of its LHTEC engine to build the T-129 of the Philippine Air Force. In 2020, when the U.S. government sanctioned Turkey and made restrictions for not allowing Turkish companies to use its U.S. licensed engine for its T-129 attack helicopter, the said restriction started when Turkey procured the S-400 Triumph air defense system made in Russia. Because of that, the Philippines and Turkish deal to acquire attack helicopters had been in floating status. Still, after a couple of years of waiting, the U.S. government surprisingly changed its decision. They now allowed the Philippines to have its T-129 by allowing the Turkish company to use the U.S. licensed engine in making attack helicopters. The Philippines got the deal first before Pakistan, which ordered 30 units with a $1.5 billion deal that has remained in floating status since 2018. Experts believe this is because Washington maintains strategic ties with Manila. The U.S. sees the Philippines as a critical ally in tackling Chinese expansionism in the Pacific Ocean. According to the Department of Defense, the said attack helicopter program's budget is around 13.8 billion pesos, made of six total units of T-129 attack helicopters. The delivery of this aircraft has reported a series of delays. The first batch was supposed to arrive in December 2021 but then moved to 2022, followed by two units in 2023, and the last two in 2024. The Department of Defense said that the first batch of the T-129 pilots and crew, who left the Philippines in May for Ankara, Turkey, completed their training in September 2021. Once commissioned, the 15th Strike Wing of the Philippine Air Force will be assigned to fly these new assets. The T-129 attack helicopters have an ergonomic cockpit design with state-of-the-art avionics and weapon systems, and with a helmet-mounted queuing system. It features a digital cockpit, which accommodates two pilots. The cockpit has two color multifunctional displays, a keyboard display unit, and a night vision helmet-mounted display system. A flight data recorder, mission planning ground station, weapon control units, integrated standby instrument systems, and an air vehicle monitoring system are also installed in the aircraft. It has an excellent performance in high altitudes and high temperatures, high maneuver capability and survivability. With a cruising speed of 269 kilometers per hour and with a maximum endurance of three hours. This helicopter has a ferry range of 561 kilometers and 1000 kilometers. With superior firing ability, the helicopter has four hardpoints that can accommodate 300 kilograms each, with a total of 1,200 kilograms of payloads. With its 20 mm turreted gun, loaded with 500 rounds of ammunition, it can also fire 76 rockets. and can carry 16 air-to-ground laser-guided missiles with a range of up to 8 kilometers.
eight air-to-air -air missiles with a range of 5 kilometers. Eight anti-tank missiles with a range of up to 8 kilometers. With this development, the brand new T-129 attack helicopters will play a significant role in tactical and ground air support operations in support of the armed forces of the Philippines branches.